So in the last episode, we concluded our CRUD operation endpoints and we were planning to move on to authentication. But there is something that have come to my attention. So before we move on to authentication, I want us to perform a better error handling. So I deleted all the documents in my MongoDB collection. So we don't have any documents, but I also made sure that I grabbed a valid ID for a certain document. So although I have this ID, there is no document in our MongoDB that have this ID because I deleted it. So if I perform this put request, we should get a to do not found error, which is a 404 error. So I will send this and we get to do not found message. Now what if I supply an invalid ID here? So this is a valid ID even though the document does not exist. What if I just get a particular ID which is not a valid object ID for MongoDB? So we should get a different error and not to do not found error. And let's try this one out. I'll send this. And you'll notice a weird behavior. This process is hanging. We are not properly catching our errors. So if I come to my console, you'll see that uh, unhandled promise rejection, cast error, cast to object ID field for value, this one. So this is not a valid object ID and we did not properly catch that error. So what we should do is to come back to our endpoints and uh, change how we catch our errors. So let's start with the first endpoint here, which is our get endpoint and when I check at this, everything is fine. We are properly catching the errors. And for our post request, uh, we are also properly catching the, the errors. But for our put request here, everything looks fine, but it is not. And that is because of this particular line of code where we are finding a, a document by ID. So this is an async action and we did not wrap it in a try and catch block so when it draws an error it will make our requests to hang and the error will be on the console but the client won't know what is the problem so what we should do is to uh, change this try and move it at the top here just before our find by id okay so i'll paste this one here and now all our async action which is find by id here and find by id and update are inside the try block and then we should do the same for patch and delete so i'll move this line of code i'll cut it and uh, paste it here actually at the top here because this is where we are finding by id i'll paste and save this file to properly uh, out of format and then I'll move to the delete and do the same. I'll save and there we go. And now let's try this one out by sending an invalid ID and see whether our server will stop instead of giving us a response. So I'll come to postman and send this request one more time and there we go now we are getting uh, an error here cast to object id failed because this is not a valid mongodb id and this is an internal server error so this is now a much better error handling instead of sending a request and it hangs we at least get a message right here so in the next video, we'll start now talking about authentication.